Hi sir, hi classmate, good day. I'm Erica Jane Gersha from grade 12 APMP. In this lesson, I've learned in subject contemporary Philippine art from the regions in Short Sea Park. In the discussion on lesson 1, I've learned art is in visual form. Also, art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination. We can create art through expressing our emotions to become an art. This could be done through painting, sculpting, drawings, and etc. In the discussion on modern art, I've learned that it is about the people, places, and ideas that the artist had their contact with. Lastly, contemporary art are arts from the present time, and these are integrative art that refers to disciplinary art Art study, development, production, display, or creative creation of work that make full use of two or more disciplines of art to produce a for particularly public. And in lesson two, I've learned that subject of art, it can be a person, animal, things, and issues in artwork. And, every un and everything under the sun is considered as a subject of art. I also learned that there are four different forms of art. Realism, distortion, abstraction, and non-objectivism. The first is realism that focuses on making Pisces look realistic. Second, distortion is any alteration to the size, shape, or visual character of a form made by an artist to express an idea. Third, abstraction is whenever the artist disassembles the topic and rearrange it in a new way. And lastly, non-objectivism, which is more on line, shape, color, and just mixes it up and nothing can be seen about the subject. And the lesson and the last lesson I've learned, which is lesson 3, is all about elements of art, which are, which, which are the visual component of color, form, line, shape, space, texture, and value. Space is individual visual art can be defined as void. The line is the extension of a point, shape, and form when the end of line meet. Color is probably the most tricking art element that catches the eye. Value is the degree of lightness and darkness of color. Texture is the surface of an artwork. We made the varieties of artwork in the given activity. And because of that, I express our active act I express our creativity and capabilities in making an artwork. I learned a lot from lesson 1 to 3, and this learning can be applied to my future artwork. That's all. Thank you.